I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate this speed silver map animation for completely free. I'm going to be covering this in both CapCut and Premiere Pro, so use the timestamps below or skip to here to find the software that you want. Anyway, let's get into the video. The first thing that you want to do is get all of these different resources. Now the heads are customizable and so are the map, but you can find all the resources I'll use in the Google Drive link in the description. Anyway, once you've done that, you want to put on your background and then put on your map just like this. Then you want to scale it down until you like it. Once you've done that, you want to import all of your different heads. Once you've got all your heads like this, you want to set the size or scale to 10. And then after that, you can position them anywhere on the map. Once you've got something that you like, which in my case is this, then you can start animating your map. To start, say position and size keyframe on all of your different heads. Then you want to go exactly two seconds into your clip and set another one. On this last set of keyframes, this is where you're going to be moving the heads to the final position. So I'm just going to move it to here. Once you've got the finished result that you like, you want to go on to whatever head you want, right click, show keyframe animation, and scroll up until you can see the X and Y axes. Start with the X by clicking the show keyframe graph, click on the first keyframe and set to auto curve, and do the same for the second. Then you want to drag this bar around to the middle and do the same for the first keyframe. It should then produce this smooth looking graph which is something that you want. Then after that you want to close down the X and start doing the exact same thing to the Y. Once you've done both of these, try to keep them as similar as possible, otherwise it's going to look a bit off. Once you've done that, you can right click and click hide keyframe animation. Then after that, your head should look something like this. Make sure your frame rate is set to 60 FPS. And to change that, you click modify, frame rate, and then select 60. Then after that, you can just click save. This will make your animation look much smoother than if it was 30. Once you've done your first head, you then want to do the exact same steps to the second and third head. Make sure you follow those steps very carefully as even one little mistake could make go horribly wrong. But once you finish doing all of those three heads, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, I suggest redoing it or starting again just to make sure it looks the best it could possibly be. After you've done, you want to highlight the map and all of your three heads, right click and make a compound clip. Then what you want to do is go to one second, move your compound clip here. You also want to move your background to the exact same duration. Go into your compound clip, use Control C and V, and then go to the very first frame and click freeze. This will then make a frozen clip which will make it look like just the beginning part. Then crop it down to a one second. You then want to go over to position and size, set a keyframe, go to the last frame and set another one. Go back to the first one and push your thing off screen until you can't see it anymore. Make sure you can still see that blue line in the middle so you know it's symmetrical. Right click, show keyframe animation, go to the Y and set both of the keyframes to smooth. You then want to drag the bo both of the blue bars to the middle, right click and hide keyframe animation. Then then the final result should look something like this. You can customize this in any way you want and you can make as many heads as you want. But this is a very nice finished result for me so time to move on to Premiere Pro. So once you get into Premiere Pro, you want to import all of your different assets. I'll leave a link to all of the assets I use down below. You want to first put on your map and just scale it to what you want. To do that, click effect controls go to scale and just drag it up. Once you've done that, go back to your other assets and import all of the heads that you want. Then click on your first head, go to effect controls, click motion and you should be able to freely move your head around. Position them wherever you want. Once you've done that, go to one second, click on your first head and set a position keyframe. Do that for every other head. Then go to two seconds. You can use the arrows keys to get exactly there. Set another one but then click back to motion and just position them wherever you want it to be. Once you've got your finished result, highlight both of the keyframes, right click, go to temporal in tool creation and go to bezier. Then click the arrow key next position, use this bar to just crop it to wherever you want, click on the keyframes and move these until it kind of makes a shape like that. It should then look something like this. But if you want it to be slower, just drag it out like that. Make sure to do this for everyone else. And if you want to make it look even better, go to three seconds and drag your keyframe to three. Then it should look something like this. Once you have done that, highlight your map and all of your heads, right click, click nest, 
and click OK. This should make it one big clip. Then come to one second, set a position keyframe, and then go to one second and set another one. Then go back to the first one and drag it off the screen. Then highlight them, right click, Ezio, and then change it so it should look something like this. Then your final result should look something like this. If you like this video or want to see more things like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.